Aurelian worshipped Sol Invictus, the invincible sun god. However, there are many mysteries. Where did his beliefs come from? What impact did it have during his tenure as the Roman Emperor? Find out today on Roman History. According to Historia Augusta, a mostly unreliable source, Callicrates of Tyre was Aurelian's mother and priestess of the sun god. It is not entirely impossible because the province of Pannonia commonly worshipped the sun cult. Perhaps, the influence came early in his life. During Aurelian's reconquest of the Roman East under the Palmyrene Empire by Zenobia, he credited the sun god for his victory at the Battle of Emesa in 272. While the Historia Augusta has many inaccuracies, it implied Deus Sol to be the helper of Aurelian. He went to the temple of Elagabalus to honor him for helping to win the battles. In 273, Aurelian attacked Palmyra to quash a rebellion, and a sacking occurred. Legio III Italica destroyed the temple for the worship of the sun god. However, according to the pagan chronicler, Zosimus, he gained the votive offerings to be part of the Temple of the Sun in Rome. Also, he restored the ruined temple and sent a priest to bless it. In 274, Aurelian took five actions with the use of Sol Invictus. Aurelian founded and blessed the Temple of Sol Invictus in the Campus Agrippi in Rome for his triumphs. Zosimus put the origin before the reconquest of the Gallic Empire under Tetricus. Allegedly, Historia Augusta mentioned the use of riches from Palmyra. Zosimus mentioned the use of Helios and Bell statues from Palmyra. He added the College of Priests for the Sun God and controlled it. Regardless, his title did not have any semblance of the Sun cult. Aurelian was the Pontifex, which contrasted with Elagabalus' title of Sicurdos Implicimus de Solis Elagabali. Aurelian's coinage with Sol Invictus had a radiate crown. His coinage set a precedent to have the sun god in the coins until the 320s under Emperor Constantine I. The numismatic evidence came from the Roman imperial coinage and inscribed Sol Invictus, Sol Conservator Augusti, and Sol Dominus Imperii Romaniae. The latter came from the mint of Cyzicus, and the translation was, Lord of the Roman Empire. Also, the coin had Sol giving Aurelian a globe as a symbol of, Restitutor Orbis, Restorer of the World for his successes against the Palmyrene and Gallic Empires. However, other gods like Mars and Hercules remained. Aurelian held games and theater from October 19 to 22. Every four years, these games would occur. Aurelian instituted the birth of Sol Invictus on December 25. 274, he instituted 30 chariot races. However, there is a misconception of Christmas coming from this holiday. Instead, the feast day was on the winter solstice holiday for the Romans. The Christians did not want to worship the sun cult, and Aurelian decided to continue persecutions, which halted under Gallienus. However, Aurelian's murder occurred before doing so. Aurelian promoted Sol Invictus as the main god and served as the thirteenth of the original twelve Greco-Roman deities. The reasons for Sol Invictus were unclear. Possibly, he wanted to increase autocracy and make the Roman Empire whole again. However, the only proof was his gratitude toward Sol. Unlike Elagabalus, Aurelian did not try to put the sun cult above the Roman religion. Aurelian's version of Sol Invictus was not from the Emesene origin but a general cult of the sun god. It was a sharp contrast to Emperor Elagabalus' Emesene sun god, it was unknown what version of the sun god that Aurelian believed. Historians Alaric Watson and Ted Kaiser conveyed it was Bel and Yerabal from the east, but the evidence was insufficient. The only proof was his victory against Zenobia, especially at Emesa. Aurelian reinstated Sol Invictus but took a more practical approach and utilized a general, abstract version, not the specific, local style from Elagabalus' reign. Historian Gaston H. Halsberg pointed out Sol Invictus Elagabal was the official sun god and part of the imperial cult. However, the evidence seemed to point divergently from Elagabalus' version. 
Instead, Aurelian's religious conservatism made it easier for the Sun cult to be acceptable. Also, military victories eased the political ramifications as demonstrations of his power. Whatever the case, Aurelian's belief in Sol Invictus was undeniable. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos.